Hi, my name is Samir Mohammed, and uh, in today's session, we're going to be covering Chapter Two of uh, the Step Microsoft Step by Step uh, SharePoint 2013. This chapter deals with navigating a SharePoint site, uh, and uh, it's gonna. After this chapter, you're gonna have a very good understanding of how to navigate the home page and the SharePoint site, how to understand the uh, understand the site structure, navigate the button. Uh, navigate the ribbons uh, and the buttons in the ribbon uh, and then customize the site navigation understand the web part pages and use a recycle bin so the general idea is to understand uh, completely what a site within SharePoint does what are the contents of the site uh, what are what is the home page uh, what is the site structure of uh, the sites and, uh, na and navigating the ribbon uh, customizing the site navigation of how to actually customize the navigation what are the different types of navigations within SharePoint and how to customize them and finally understand the web part pages uh, and the app parts and see what see, and uh, and see how the recycle bin within SharePoint works uh, what are the things that that and what are the different levels of the SharePoint of ship SharePoint recycle bin so we're gonna see uh, we're going to see all of that and after this session you're going to have a very good understanding of the site and all its contents so this is the URL that I'm going to be using in today's session uh, and uh, the password the, the general password is uh, is what you see right now just make sure that you have uh, lorna sp and then the slash that you have is exactly what has been mentioned over here okay uh, any other slash is not gonna work anything in front of the slash is basically uh, the uh, is basically the domain name uh, it's the domain name in which the SharePoint server is running and after that is basically the username and this is the password it's case sensitive and that's a capital S so let's take a look at at the team site contents let's take a look at what are the team site contents so let's go back to my site and uh, this is a brand new site and uh, so 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 what you see over here on the SharePoint site is uh, what you see on the SharePoint site is always going to be on lists and uh, these are announcements and and list could be anything like announcements calendars links tasks uh, contacts and any other thing anything which is not document centric uh, it can take attachments, but it's all about the data. Like, for example, if I have a contacts list, it's about the information of the contact, like first name, last name. Uh, they can be one or several different documents, uh, you know, which are uh, which describe more details about the contact. But it's mainly about the contact itself. So that's the reason it's known as a list. So it's stored as a list. Libraries are document centric. When you have a document, and uh, you know which you want to store and uh, then that's when libraries are used uh, the built-in document library there's a built-in document library in a team site which is known as documents um, and then there's news feeds a news feed is a site's communication hub it displays ho uh, posts and replies among the users of the site so anything any kind of you know posts and replies between the users of the site it's going to be news feed it's a very uh, new feature which came out with SharePoint 2013 uh, and finally the recycle bin which allows you to restore items that have been deleted from the site so this is this is a typical team site okay so on the left hand side what you see are basically this is the home page uh, this is the documents built in documents library when you uh, when a brand new team site is created it comes with the documents uh, uh, with the documents document library uh, and again documents is the name of the document library there are there can be several different types of document libraries uh, and uh, clicking on this takes me to the document library page and I can click on new document or I can drag and drop files over here and uh, uh, and upload files over here so I can go ahead and click on browse browse to the desktop select any file and click on OK and I just added a file to my document library this is the name of the file this is when it was last modified and this is modified by the user okay 
Uh, and uh, I don't, as of right now, I don't have any lists in here. And we're gonna, but we're gonna see very soon uh, what are the different lists and libraries that I can actually create. I just clicked on the site contents, and it takes me to the site contents page. This page basically shows me all the contents of the site. And we're gonna be covering the contents of this page, of the site contents page, in uh, more detail uh, very soon. Uh, and uh, as far as the recycle bin is concerned, once I go to the site contents page over here, then I see the recycle bin over here. I can click on the recycle bin, and it's going to show me, it's going to take me to uh, the contents of the recycle bin. Very similar to the Windows recycle bin, but a lot more powerful. Currently, there are no items in the recycle bin because nothing has been deleted.